In this video, we will discuss the problem next element with greater frequency. So the problem says that you will be given an array of n integers and for every element, what you have to do is you have to find the closest element on its right that has a greater frequency than its own frequency, right? So frequency of the element is considered the number of times that element is uh, appearing in the array, right? So let's try and see. So if you have been given an array like 2, 1, 1, 3, 2 and 1, then you can easily see that 1 is occurring 3 number of times. Uh, you can see that 2 is occurring 2 number of times and 3 is occurring 1 number of times, right? So what you can easily observe is, what you have to do is, suppose that you are currently at this element, right? So you have to tell what is the next uh, uh, nearest element uh, with respect to this 2, what is the nearest element towards its right that is having a frequency greater than 2, right? So basically, if uh, for this 2, you can easily say that 1 is that element that is occurring nearest towards the right that is having a frequency greater than 2 because 2 is having a frequency of 2 and 1 is having a frequency of 3, right? After this, when you come to this 1, right? So for 1, you do not have any element towards the right that has a frequency greater than 1, right? So that's why you will put a minus 1. For this one also, you will put a minus 1 because for this one also, you do not have any element towards the right that has a frequency greater than this, right? For 3, which element is having greater frequency than 3? Now you can say that maybe it can be 1 and 2 but the, uh, the thing is that you have to uh, get the nearest element, right? You have to get the next uh, greater frequent element. So that's going to be 2 because 3 is occurring 1 time and 2 is occurring 2 times. So 2 will be the answer, right? After that for 2, the next, uh, the nearest greater element towards the right, uh, nearest uh, most frequent element towards the right is nothing but 1. Now for this one, there is no, uh, no element, so that's why you'll write a minus one for this case, right? So you can see that this is how you can do it. Now, if you want to do it, right, if you want to do it, so basically what you can do is you can maybe um, make a frequency. First of all, you can have a frequency, you can have make a map and you can count the frequency of each of the, each and every element. Then suppose that you are at the ith element, then what you can do is you can uh, check in the right, you can start your j from i plus one and you can go till j is less than n and you can do a j plus plus, right? And you can keep on checking whether there, where they, whether there is an element a of j right such that its frequency whether there is an element such that frequency of a of j is greater than frequency of a of i right the very first element that is there that will be your answer right that's going to be the case but this approach will take order of n square time right and how can we do this uh, using lesser time so what you can do is you if you know this problem that is next greater element towards the right so the concept is going to be very similar to that kind of problem but even if you have not done that problem so there is no issues basically what you have to do in this particular thing is you have to consider it like this right basically you can see that you have to check uh, like if you go in this direction right so it's order of n square but basically what you can say is that for this element right for this particular element for this particular element 1 the answer is going to be minus 1 right for this element 2 the answer is going to be 1 right for this element 3 the answer is going to be what 2 for this element 1 the answer is going to be minus 1 for this element 1 the answer is going to be minus 1 for this element 2 the answer is going to be 1 right so basically you have to check it from the right so oh, what you will do is you will iterate from uh, n minus 1 so you will have a for loop right you will have a for loop you will start your i from n minus 1 and you will go until your i is greater or equal to 0 i minus minus right in this direction you will come and what you will have is what do you want right what do you want uh, suppose that you are currently at th this element, right? Suppose that you are currently at this element. So if you if you are moving from here, you are at this element, right? So you want to first of all consider this two and then this one, right? Because you will be seeing one and two both the elements, right? But first of all, you consider want to consider two, right? So if you will talk that you, where, from where you are coming, you are coming from right to left, you are coming in this direction, right? And you are currently at this element. So which element you want to consider first? You want to consider this element first and then this element, right? So if you will talk in terms of a stack data structure, so uh, like you can see that the element, right? you will see this part that which element are you considering first you are considering this element first right because uh, the last element that you are seeing like if you are moving from right to left if this is your current element so the last element that you saw the la the latest element that you saw towards the uh, right side that that you will consider first and then the next latest element right similarly similarly for let's say this particular uh, two elements this particular two you will consider first of all this element then this element and this then this element right and since you are since you are also moving from left to right 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 to left so that is why what is happening is you need to know you need to know that okay if you are moving in this direction right and currently you are at this element so you want to consider first of all this element then this element then this element right so basically the element if you will consider from right to left so this one is the last element right 
and you have to consider it at uh, the very first right for the very first opportunity you have to consider this then you have to consider this element then you have to consider this and then this right because you want the nearest most frequent elements towards the right so that's why what you can do is if you want to, to consider the latest element that's coming from uh, moving from right to left if you want to consider the latest elements first and then you want to consider the uh, the uh, this elements the the later element right you want to consider the earlier elements first of all so that's why what you will use you'll use a stack that is the concept of last and first out right so that's why you will iterate from the back okay you'll iterate from the back and currently your stack will be empty right and whenever your stack is empty right whenever your stack is empty so you'll say that okay the answer is going to be nothing but minus one right if your stack is empty then the answer is going to be minus one you'll store it all in a vector right so you'll store all the answers in a vector now what you will do is you will insert this one right you insert this one now you come to this element 2 the moment you come to this element 2 so you will check that uh, what is the current element the current uh, element's frequency is 2 right and what is the frequency for the top of the uh, for the top element of the stack the frequency is 3 so that means 1 is having a frequency greater than 2 so that's why you will write a 1 then what you will do is you will uh, push 2 into the stack why you will push 2 because if you are at this element 3 right so first of all you want to consider 2 that whether 2 is having a greater frequency uh, compared to 3 and then you will consider 1 right so basically last in first out concept that's why we are using a stack so you can see that okay 2 will be having a greater frequency right the top of the stack that is 2 will be having a frequency that is going to be greater than 3 so that's why you will say what you will say that okay at this index i can have a 2 now next up what will happen i'll insert 3 now the moment i insert 3 so i can see this element 1 the moment i see the element 1 right so for element 1 uh, thus the current stack top 3 is having a frequency of 1 so is is this uh, greater than my frequency 1 is having a frequency of 3 the current ith element is having a frequency of 3 right and this particular element this particular element 3 is having a frequency of 1 so that means it will not be considered so that's why i'll pop this element out and i'll see that whether the next element can help me or not so 2 is having a frequency of 2 while on the other hand 1 is still having a frequency of 3 so that means uh, this is not the next greater element uh, next frequent, most frequent element towards the right so that's why i'll not consider it then i'll have 1 so i'll remove one. I'll, i can see that one is having a frequency of 3 and this one is also having a frequency of 3 that's why i cannot replace it to, so the stack becomes empty right the moment stack becomes empty so you'll write minus one for this case right and now you'll insert one right now you'll insert this particular element and now you move to this element the moment you would move to this one so you'll see that in the stack there is one and is one having a frequency greater than uh, is uh, the one is having a frequency of three right and is this one having a frequency uh, of what three it's having a frequency of three so that means that the current stack top is not having a frequency greater so that's why i'll pop it out and then i can see that the stack becomes empty the moment the stack becomes empty so i have to print minus one because there is no such element present towards the right this is what this empty stack indicates right after this what will happen i'll move to this index but before that i'll insert one into the stack right this one into the stack then what happens i am at two now the moment i am at two right the moment i am at 2 so what happens is when i am at 2 so i will see towards the right which element so it is 1 and you can see in the stack the element 1 is present and 1 is occurring 3 times while on the other end 2 is occurring only 2 times so that's why 1 will be the greater element right now one thing that i would like you to observe is that you have moved from right to left okay you have moved from n minus 1 till 0 right that's what you have done so the in the vector in the vector the answer will be stored in this order right first of all this minus 1 then this 1 then this 2 then this minus 1 minus 1 and 1 will be stored right answer is stored in this order so that's why if you want you all, uh, only want to return the answer in normal order right you want to return the answer in left to right order so that's why since this vector you have stored from back so that's why you will have to reverse this vector right so that it can happen right we have written it this way but basically in actual vector the answer will be stored like minus 1 1 2 minus 1 minus 1 and 1 so that's why what you need to do is you simply need to reverse this vector so that you can return the final answer now let's try and quickly uh, write the code for this particular problem so that we can implement it so what you will be doing is you will be having an unordered map first of all right you will be having an unordered map right you will be having an unordered map to find the frequency right you will be using a map uh, map of int comma int right and mp then what you will do is you will iterate through all the elements right so you will say that i need to iterate so int uh, nothing but int i starts from 0 and i is going to be lesser than n so i'll uh, iterate for all the n elements and what i'll do is i'll say that frequency of uh, array of i plus plus so i'll increment the frequency of each and every element the moment i've done this so now what what do i require i require a stack for myself right so i require a stack so i'll declare a stack let's say stack uh let's say stack and i'll declare it as an int and let's say i name it as st right so what i'll do is i'll also require a vector that of uh, with which i need to return the final answer for all the indexes right so i'll declare a vector int answer kind of thing right 
now what i will do is i'll start iterating right i'll start iterating so what i'll do is i'll start iterating from the back so int i starts from n minus 1 right n minus 1 and i is greater or equal to 0 i'll do an i minus minus simply and what i'll say is that uh, if it happens right if you are at the current stack right so what can be the circumstances the circumstances can be that if you are at the current element right so if you if you let's say are at this element right so if you currently are this at this element the very first element so you can see that the stack is empty right if the stack is empty in that case what will you do if the stack is empty then you will say that okay you will insert minus one at that position right but what if uh, what if that is not the case what if you are currently let's say at this particular index right so suppose that you are currently at this index one so in that case in the stack you have inserted one two and three right so you if you currently your element is one so one is having a frequency of three right so array of i is equal to one and its frequency is what array of i is frequency array of i the current element is one and its frequency is three right so i'll write this so i can say that array of i suppose is one right this green element now its uh, frequency is what frequency of array of i is nothing but three right so I can see that the top of the stack is not having a frequency greater because three is having a frequency of what one. So that's why I'll remove it from the stack because if the if the element if the top element of the stack is having a frequency uh, lesser than or equal to me, then I'll have to have to remove it. Like similarly for this two, this two is having a frequency of two. While on the other hand, my one is having a frequency of three. So that that means it cannot uh, it cannot be my next greater frequent element. So I'll remove it from the stack. And what will happen? I'll come to this one. So one is having a frequency grade uh, like that like, that's lesser equal to me because one is also having a frequency of three and current element one is also having a frequency of three that's why i'll also remove it the moment this happens so either it can happen that the stack becomes empty if the stack becomes empty right so in that case you will say that okay minus one is the answer because there is no such element towards the right that is greater than it right that's the case now another thing like let's try and observe for another case let's say if you are, are at this case right if suppose that you had a case like this let's say this case only so if you are currently at this element right if you are at three so before that two and one will be inserted right so you can see that the current element two is having that uh, is having greater frequency than three so that's why i'll write it okay and i'll simply push every time the ith element into the stack as well so that's what i'm going to do so i'll say that i need to check i need to check whether the current element of the stack if the stack is not empty right i'll check if the stack is not empty right if the stack is not empty and what happens is if the stack is not empty and the frequency of uh, the stack dot top right if the frequency of the top element if the frequency of the top element is lesser than equal to me right if le if it's lesser than equal to frequency of the ith element right for which i want the next greater element towards the right if it if it is so right in that case i need to pop this element out from the stack right i'll say stack dot pop because this particular element let's say the current element is one right so one is having a frequency of three and the top of the stack is having a free element three that is having a frequency of one so in that case if three is having a frequency of one and one is having a frequency of three that that means the three cannot be my next uh, next more uh, next uh, frequent element towards the right so that's why i'll pop out three and i'll check for other elements right that's what i'm going to do now once i come out of this loop right so i either i can come out of this while loop if my stack gets empty or if uh, if uh, it happens that i get a stack dot top such that uh, i get a top element at the stack that is having a greater frequency than me right so let's suppose that if this kind of a case was there suppose that if we had a case like this suppose that uh, i had some elements right i had some some elements such that one was occurring three times uh, two was occurring two times and one was occurring uh, like three was occurring one time right so if i had a kind of case like two one and three right if i had this case suppose this was some intermediate sub array and what i had in the stack i had let's say three and i had this thing right i had first of all uh, like three and then i had one this was kind of some sub array right so what I can say is if I wanted to find the next greater element, uh, next most frequent element towards the right for two, then the stack will have three and one, right? But three is having a frequency of one. So I'll, I'll pop it out, right? The moment I pop it out, so I'll, I'll come out of the while, while loop as well. Why? Because this particular top element, the one is having a frequency of three that is greater than the frequency of two. That means for two, the next greater element will be one. The next more uh, frequent element towards the right will be one, right? So that's why I am going, going to do this part. So if it happens that the stack has not become empty, right? If stack not empty, if stack has become empty, right? if the stack becomes empty in that case what i'm going to push in the answer is i'm simply going to push uh, answer dot push back right i'm simply going to push minus one in the answer right i'm simply going to push minus one otherwise if that is not the case if stack is having any element right that if stack dot top is greater than me then i'll simply say that i need to push this particular element so i'll say that answer dot push back nothing but stack dot top because that particular top element is uh, the next greater uh, frequent element than me towards the right okay this is what i will do and after that in the end after this particular uh, traversal is done so you also need to do what you before this you also need to push the 
current element in the stack. So you will say that stack dot push RFI, right? And then you will move to the next index. So you will do I minus minus kind of thing. After this part is done, so you need to reverse your vector as well, right? You need to reverse what? You need to reverse array. Uh, you need to reverse your vector. Why do you need to reverse your vector? You need to reverse your vector be simply because this particular element that you have, right? This particular element that you have, uh, it is uh, this particular vector that you have. It is stored in the reverse format from n minus one to zero. That's why you want to reverse it because the answer is uh, the question is expecting you the more the frequent element towards the right in zero to n uh, n minus one order, right? That's why you will reverse it. And then in the end, you will simply return the answer. Let's try and quickly compile this code and see if it works on the samples without any compilation errors. So we are getting a compilation error. Okay. I should have declared this as map as frequency, right? I should name it as frequency. Let's try and quickly compile this. Okay, another compilation error. So it is saying that. Okay, give me a second, right? So basically, what you have to do is you have to remove this part and this part from here, right? Let's try and compile this now. Okay, not error dot begin. Basically, answer dot begin is what I should have written. So this part, and then this answer as well, right? Let's try and compile this code. Hopefully, it should work now. So it seems to work on the samples. Let's quickly submit this code as well. So you can see that my submission got accepted. Now, the for doing this particular approach, the time complexity for this particular approach is going to be nothing but order of n because we have just iterated from right to left, and the space complexity is going to be order of n because we are using an extra space. Thank you for watching this video.